so in this video we'll be talking about the impulse only the theory part so uh, we have already uh, seen here the import directory and this address points to the first import so generally whenever your application uh, needs something of course your application do something uh, by default it will load some dealers and there will be functions in those dealers uh, which this application uses uh, in my case calc2.exe to perform some operations so there are some core operations that are uh, core operational functions that are in the kernel that you got together and some other dealers and all those functions uh, addresses need to be imported into this uh, uh, structure so that the application uh, can access that function and runs that code so by default uh, uh, linker can write these uh, addresses but uh, it's going to be uh, dynamic so whenever uh, there is there are any updates to the operating system these uh, addresses changes so that's why we need to update these uh, the functions of these addresses of these functions uh, whenever we are loading this executable file so here we have the import directory and this address points to the uh, first import image uh, sorry image import descriptor so the contents of this image import descriptor are as follows so characteristics are original first thing uh, in rad in the disk the characteristics and in the memory it's called original first thing next one is time date stamp and forward chain name first thing so this is the structure of image import descriptor and the original first thing and the first thing are almost similar so this original first thing points to the address of an array of this uh, data structure image thunk data so first let me cover this uh, timestamp forward chain and the name so this name contains the dll name so this name contains the actual dll name and this original first thing points to this uh, uh, array of these structures and these structures we will have the uh, address of the function so the function uh, actual name here we have the dll name and here we have the function name so uh, if the if we are importing like uh, 20 functions from this dll and we will have this 20 number of image thunk data structures so there is no ending for this uh, uh, the ending of this image import descriptor structures would be identified by uh, zeros so null image import descriptor so a, a structure with all the fields zero so that means uh, if you uh, came to this uh, zero all zeros in this fields that means uh, all the imports have been uh, completed so let's see this diagram here you can see uh, this first block is the one dealer and this second uh, block points to another dealer name and the functions name and the third points to the third dealer so here you can see the imported dealer name points to the uh, kernel 32 dll and second one points to user 32 and third one points to advanced api 32 dll so let's see that in the piggy bear so you can see the uh, total size of this image import descriptor is uh, 20 bytes so you can see the okay uh, these are the 16 bytes and up to this three column we have 20 bytes uh, the name is uh, last but one so this one will be the name 00004158 i think 8 or b yeah. so here you can also you can see this everything is parsed now if i go and click this rva 41 Five eight, and I should go to the name of this dealer, kernel that you do the dealer. So you can uh, go to this address and read the string from this. You will get this kernel that you do the dealer. All right, now uh, you can loop over these structures. So this 
ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ రీడ్ ఫస్ట్ సిక్స్ ఫస్ట్ ట్వంటీ బైట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ అడ్రస్ పాయింటెడ్ బై ఆప్షనల్ హెడర్ డాట్ ఇంపోర్ట్ డైరెక్టరీ సో దిస్ అడ్రస్ పాయింట్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ డిస్క్రిప్టర్ ఇమేజ్ ఇంపోర్ట్ డిస్క్రిప్టర్ రీడ్ సిక్స్టీన్ బైట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ సారీ ట్వంటీ బైట్స్ అండ్ క్యాలకులేట్ గెట్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ అండ్ రీడ్ నెక్స్ట్ ట్వంటీ బైట్స్ అండ్ హియర్ కెన్ సీ ద నెక్స్ట్ ట్వంటీ బైట్స్ ఆర్ జీరో దట్ మీన్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వీ ఆర్ ఇంపోర్టింగ్ ఓన్లీ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ డిఎల్ఎల్ దట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ కెన్ థర్టీ టూ డాట్ డిఎల్ఎల్ so you can identify the next 20 bytes are completely zero that means uh, there are no more imports and after calculating the uh, all the imports uh, you can print them to the screen kernel the data now we need to parse the function names uh, you can see the uh, original first thing so uh, before loading uh the original first thing and first thing contains the same data so the same of this image thing data structures but uh whenever we need to fix these function addresses this uh the address pointing to this first thing should be replaced by the data of the function addresses so let's see what this original first thing points to so original first thing is the first member and that is 4140 and here you can see the pe were already passed this 4140 if i click on this i will get the uh, starting of all of this image thing data structures so let's go and click on this and here we can see uh, we got the uh, Uh, this 4166 and if i go to 4166 uh, that is the address of the uh, my name name of the function so you can click on 4166 you can also click on this because uh, it's been parsed and you can see the first one is the hint so this uh, first two uh, bytes is the hint and the second uh, the name is of dynamic size because we don't know uh, how much length each function so each function length is not constant so we read up to null byte to get the uh, function name so this is the uh, virtual dialog the function now you can uh, come back and come back to the original first thing and again go to this and the next you can see the uh, two null bytes and then exit process so so you can also click here 4176 so 4176 uh so these are not null bytes this is a hint and this, the next uh, after two bytes is the string so null terminator string you can read up to this and find the function name so we found the function name exit process and we also found another function that is virtual dialog so you can see these are like a continuous uh uh continuous manner until you reach zero you need to uh, read these function names so after reading the function name you need to use the we, we are going to use the uh load library to load the dll and get proc address for this function name and we we need to get the address and overwrite in this first thing so you can see the first thing is pointed to this uh data here you can see and if you click on this original first thing it will also be pointed to same data so but there are some null bytes so you can click on this uh this uh data should be replaced by the uh addresses of the function so i have parsed we have parsed these uh function names and dll name so after that we are going to use load library to load this dll and get proc address to get that to other function after getting that 
for each uh, function address for the first one we need to uh, write at this uh, first uh, byte so we are doing the if we are doing 64 bit we need to overwrite this 8 bytes so that's how you need to overwrite uh, write the function addresses into this first thunk uh, pointer so that's all uh, about the imports we can also see uh, another image you can see uh, original first thunk points to the uh, this array and the first thing also points to this uh, same array but after uh, when loaded into memory we need to write the addresses of the function to this uh, array after that uh, we can uh, continue execution so let's also see another e example you can see optional header for hello.exe if you go to this 8000 this is the starting of the first uh, image import descriptor uh, structure if you go to first 20 bytes that is up to this three uh, first one is uh, original first thing 8078 so 8078 so 8078 so if you click on this you will be uh, taken to this uh, thunk uh, data structure and at this address you will have uh, 8248 so if you go to this 8248 you will have the import by name structure that is the hint and the function name in case you can uh, from this point onwards uh, you can try to uh, loop until you get the null byte so you can see there are a lot of functions so you can just simply uh, loop over until you reach uh, the null bytes so after finding the address you can uh, update the values of the function addresses in this first thing so that's all for the theory about this uh, imports so don't worry after we'll be parsing the p uh, file and then writing the content you will get much more uh, clear understanding